Ang TNC po ay nakikiisa sa sambayan ng Pilipino para sa isang mapayapang bagong Pasko. Ang bagong Pasko ay simbolo ng bagong pag-asa. Ito ay isang pagkakataon upang ating mapagnilayan ang mga kaganapan sa ating buhay. Ang diwa ng bagong Pasko ay hindi mararamdaman sa mga palamuti o karangyaan sa ating kapanigiran, kundi sa alab ng pag-ibig sa ating mga dibdi. Lahat tayo ay nakaranas ng hirap nitong taon na to. Dahil sa pandemya, nawalan tayo ng oportunidad. Kahit na anong mangyari, pinipilit pa din natin makapagbigay ng saya sa iba. Yan ang diwa ng bagong Pasko. Para sa akin, ang bagong Pasko ay hindi concerned sa handaan o sa mga regalo. Sharing, giving, taking care of each other. Sana simula ngayong bagong Pasko, ganun na lahat tayo. Maraming salamat po sa new channel, Maligayang Pasko. Christmas is always a reminder to have an attitude of gratitude. And that means sharing the love and appreciating everything that matters to you. Christmas is a celebration of life. And let us all be grateful that we are enjoying God's gift of life. Ang bagong Pasko ay simple at payak. Nakasentro sa ating pamilya at sa ating Panginoon. I want to remind everyone that we should treasure the connection that we have. We have our friends our family, and of course, Jesus Christ. Para sa akin, ang diwa ng Pasko hindi nagbabago pa. Ito ay panahon ng pagmamahalan, pag-iibigan. Walang makakatalo sa pagmamahal na bingkit sa atin ng Panginoon. Maraming salamat po, The New Channel, Maligayang Pasko. Ang tunay na diwa ng bagong Pasko ay hindi lang paghahangad ng mga regalo o mga bagong bagay. Ito ay ang pagpapahalaga sa mga bagay na meron na tayo at ang matutunang ibahagi ito sa mga nangangailangan. Happy Salamat to the new channel! Dapat din natin tandaan ang totoong diwa ng Pasko, si Kristo Jesus. Noon, ngayon, at magpakailanman. Ang bagong Pasko para kanako, dili ang masigarbong pang sa ulo, kundi ang pag-ambit o ginabang sa mga taong mas nang inahanglan ng panahon sa pandemya. Ang diwa ng bagong Pasko ay ang pag-iingat sa ating mga sarili, pagiging ligtas sa kapamakan, at pagpapabuti sa ating kalusugan. Maraming salamat po sa new channel, Maligayang Pasko. Maraming salamat sa new channel, Maligayang Pasko. Ngayong bagong Pasko, isa buhay natin at maging saksi sa kagandapan sa bilin. What does the new Christmas mean to me? It means reconnecting. Reconnecting with the people you love, the people you care about, the people you have not spoken with in a long time, that always made you happy. We should never forget, Christ is still the reason for the season. for us is focusing on the basic unit of society which is your family and virtual togetherness with friends and relatives. And of course, sharing your blessings to others in need. Celebrate Christmas with full of gratitude. Ang Pasko ay tungkol sa pagmamahal mo sa pamilya mo at pagiging mabuti sa kapwa. Christmas is the season of giving but you cannot give if your hands are closed. So open your hands and your hearts and give. And your open hands will receive so much more. Christmas is the season of giving. It is best spent with our families. But let us not also forget that this is the celebration of the birth of our Lord Jesus Christ. Para sa akin, ang diwa ng bagong Pasko ay ang pagkakaroon ng mas madaming oras para sa ating mga pamilya. Maraming salamat na new channel ng Maligayang Pasko! Christmas is always about sharing and caring, loving ourselves, and loving others. Ang bagong Pasko para sa akin, malayo man tayo sa isa't isa, ang pagmamahal ay atin pa rin maipadarama. Maligayang maligayang Pasko po at manigong bagong taon sa inyong lahat.
The views, opinions, and insights expressed in the following show are those of the hosts, producers, guests, and viewers. 
they do not necessarily reflect the position of the channel. Viewer discretion is advised. Awesome day, and this is your show, The Awesome Day, <laughs> the new channel, only from the new channel. I'm your host, Mr. Al Ian Barcelona, the one and only Mr. Awesome. Branding po lang naman po yun. Lahat po tayo ay awesome because our God is an awesome God and He has given us, gifted us with this awesome life, with this awesome job of inspiring, empowering, educating a lot of Filipinos to this platform, the new channel where we help you see the new you and yun po, ah, nakita yun sa aming station IDs, TNC Cares. Opo, why this is the awesome day because this will be your DAY, your daily source of motivation and inspiration. Lalo na tuwing lunes, symbolically the first working day of the week para baunin natin ng week long, week wide, at syempre letter A po. We are here to activate your potentials, your beliefs, your aspirations, your skills, your capacity, yung mga natutulog na mga ideas dyan, yung mga kung mga natutulog natin, mga pangarap, buhayin po natin. And that's gonna happen through our guests and feature stories. That is why letter Y stands for you, yourself, your your journey, your success, your business, your career, your family life, your ministry, your advocacy, your mission, everything about you and me. We'll talk things out and we're gonna be inspired in so many ways. This is The Awesome Day. are back here. Yan po ang ating program ID. And by the way po, we only have four days to go before Christmas. Merry, 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 blessed Christmas. Christmas, Christ is a must. Christ is the reason. This will be on top. It's the meaning and reason for everything. Okay po, okay po, okay po. So, uh, ngayon, bago ko introduce ang ating guest, grabe. First time that we're going to be guessing an international world-class Pinoy or Filipina to be more specific. Pero bago yun, kanina po, just a matter of sharing, I had the lecture, a seminar, virtual uh, virtual seminar for field help on work and attitude values enhancement. Yun ang gusto ko i-share sa inyo po, yung, yung pinaka-quote doon. Yung po isa sa mga quotable quote doon sa aming modules. Ang sabi po doon, you don't get paid for the hour, but you get paid by the value you bring to the hour. Ulitin ko po ah, you don't get paid by the hour or for the hour, but you're actually being paid for you, the value you put into it. Alam nyo, uh, make sense ah, ang bigat ng dating sa akin niya. Kasi pwedeng sa ating lahat ng mga nagtatrabaho, be it a face-to-face na, bumalik na po kayo, work from home, o kahit sa business. Alam nyo po, napakalaga ng oras eh. Time is the most precious commodity that God has given unto us and to all of us. Wala pong pinipili ang oras. Madalas mga sabihin, dalawang kategorya niyan, isang chronos, isang kairos. Pero alam niyo po, putting work and time, talking about work and time, maraming tao nagtatrabaho, take to five ang mindset, or nagbe-business, or ano paman. Ang tawag ko dyan, masyado na silang gipit ng oras, pero they feel devaluated, or worse, the company, the institution they're working with or working for, is also being devaluated or surcharged kasi ang mindset nila, pag 8 to 5 lang ako, ibig sabihin, ah, basta pag 5 o'clock exit ako, nagawa ko na gusto kong gawin. 
and yes, you're being paid by the hour and by daily rate ka, hourly rate and daily rate. Pero mind you, ang tunay na nagbibigay ng halaga ng trabaho, ano man ang ginagawa mo, hindi po yung oras lang. Katunayan, yung value na pinapasok mo sa oras, kasi neutral ang oras eh. Lahat tayo pantay-pantay. Pero ang tanong, anong value mo? Diba? Anong values mo na inilalagay mo doon? Pag pinag-usapan ng time, sinabi po natin in the past episodes, know your priority, you know your priority, then the rest will just be priorities, isa lang daw ang priority. Pero yan po ay reflection ng values mo. So ang tanong ko sa'yo, kaibigan, kapatid, ka-awesome na nanonood ngayon sa YouTube, sa Facebook, and when you watch this replay po, are you bringing in value or what kind of value that you put in that hour that makes you worth paying for, di ba? Ako po ay employer din, and I also hire talents. Kaya ko inahire, hindi oras, inahire ko po yung talent, yung value. So kapag wala ko na naibibigay na value, kaya tawag daw po sa business talaga is value adding, not just meeting the need. You may have met the need, you may meet the need, but the value isn't there. And value will, will keep the customers coming back, will keep the clients longing more for your products, for your services. Ang tanong, anong value mo? Pag sinabing value mo, ano yung self-worth mo na nagsisimula sa, sa paniniwala mo, sa mindset mo, sa prinsipyo mo, and then dahil sa ideas mo, sa konsepto mo, nakapag-develop ka ng mga konsepto ng produkto, ng serbisyo, hinaluan mo ngayon ng iyong, ng iyong motivasyon, ng iyong good attitude, ng iyong positive attitude and good behavior, then you put value into time. Let us not waste our time and said that us make the most of the God-given time that He has given us, not only by utilizing it, but by simply maximizing it and putting so much value into it. Then we can call ourselves productive, diba? Sabi nga po, productivity may only, activity does not mean productivity, but proper activity uh, stemming from your priority and then with so much value, passion, and excellence into it, that gives value to time and that you're gonna be worth paying. All right? Ulitin ko po, ang nagsabi niya is si Dr. Jim Rohn. Sabi niya, you don't get paid for the hour, but you get paid for the value you bring into the hour. So, that's a very good motivation for us. Quotable quote, at take away po natin. And now, hindi ko na po pa natagalin pa because we have an international guest. Ginising ko po siya na alas sa ispo ng umaga, sobrang aga pa sa bansa nila. And yes, I'm talking about an international guest. She is a world-class Filipina, world-class Filipina because she's a dentist, a doctor of dental medicine by profession. Then she has this aesthetic and spa beauty and wellness center. At alam niyo po saan located? Dukon lang naman sa pagitan ng UK, Great Britain, England, at ng Ireland, may maliit doon na isla na considered na country independent and they call it the Isle of Man. Eto pa, two weeks ago, nung nagkamustahan kami, nagulat ako, no? narinig ko siya misa, pero ngayon lang ulit na ulit sa akin. O nga, no? And she's living a happy, literally wealthy and a happy family life. She's been blessed by the Lord because she pursued excellence and she wanted to give her best always. She never stopped learning and now she's an accomplished businesswoman and a dental a medicine practitioner. Without further much ado, let us all welcome the one and only and a good friend, I would say a protege na report during our youth ministry days, Dr. Catherine Green Gulch. Yan, I hope I pronounce it right. Ipasok po siya, Greg Gray. Pasok. Hi, hi, Dr. Hello. Okay, good morning. Good morning from you there. Good afternoon from here. Batiin mo muna lahat ng fans mo. You know, fans mo. <laughs> yung mga na family and friends mo back here in the Philippines and even there sa Isle of Man. Uh, magandang magandang umaga po sa inyo or hapon sa inyong lahat dyan mga ka-awesome at mga kabagang. <laughs> kabagang. <laughs> oh, yes. Kasi dentista po ito eh, di ba? Anong exact time na po dyan, doktora? Um, 5 to 7 a.m. 5 to 7 a.m. Galing pa po ng Christmas party yan doon. Oh, and by the way, bakit ang laya-laya nyo dyan na mention mo sa akin? Is it true? That's a COVID-free country? Uh, yes. Yes, we are. Wow! Wow! 
Ano kaya nangyari yan no? sa sobrang higit ng government, disiplinado oh, no. tao, tao? I think yung mga tao, disiplinado lang talaga. Pag sinabi ng gobyerno, huwag kayong lalabas, hindi sila lalabas. Okay. Then, um, we have, we have um, our borders are not closed, but we have 14 days isolation. Kapag umuwi ka, 14 days mm-hmm. isolation. So some people have to stay in a hotel for 14 days. Para hindi, just in case. <laughs> transfer the virus. Oh, oh. And then they test the person um, after seven days. So Okay, to, to see the development. Yeah. All right. Uh, uh, if you would notice, mga ka-awesome na viewers, she's using the term isolation. Dito sa Philippines, it's more known as, uh, what do you call this, quarantine. Diba? 14 days is oh, yan. Eh. Yeah, quarantine yan. Okay. Uh, Dr. Kat, Ano nga pala ulit ang name ng iyong ano, business, yung iyong company dyan? Um, it's Infinity Dental and Beauty Spa. Infinity Dental and Beauty Spa. Okay, mamaya natin pag-uusapan yan. Ha? So ito ngayon, this thing is opportunity. The goal of this show is to inspire our viewers through our, through our stories, yung nag-enjoy ni mo. Pwede ba in hindsight lang, bagamat mabagdamdamin ang iyong kwento, alam ko yan. <laughs> Hindi mo kami ng konting background. Uh, ano bang start mo dito sa Philippines? Tapos paano ka napunta dyan? Ano yung family background and studies background mo dito sa Philippines? Ano ba automatic? Pinanganak ka na ba dyan? Diyan ka na lumaki, naging successful ka. So ano, sino si Doc Cathy before? When you were young, your student and family life? Kuya. Um, <laughs> Kuya Ian. I think Kuya. you know me. <laughs> you know me already. Um, so church girl. We were in the same church, Jesus is Lord Church, since growing up. Um, and then uh, I think you're the one who told me to go to CEU. And nakita ko, dapat magpo-pol saya ko. And then um, I, ang prevent yung maraming, ano, maraming opening. Pre-tent. So I said, sige, prevent na lang. <laughs> I really liked it afterwards. So the Inventista, and I know when we were in in CEU Central Escolar University, we go to Bible studies, we go to dormitories to do Bible studies. So it was it was really fun. Um, pinapos ko talaga yung six years ng dentistry. Ang hirap talaga niya. <laughs> yung uh, pupunta kami ng tundo ng, mad- ng gabi, tapos may nagsasaksakan sa likod namin. <laughs> Naranasan namin yun. Tapos uh, yung yung manguha ng patient sa sa may kiyapo, mga ganyan. Sa uh, bimapa. <laughs> sa bimapa. <laughs> Tapos ang ang pagkain lang namin ay ano uh, karindiria pumupunta sa may sampalo kung saan sa ang kanto lang. <laughs> yes, minsan wala pang makain kasi ipapamasyente ko pa yung ano yung pera na dapat ipapangkain ipapamasyente pa. So ani na taon na ganon pa ulit ulit. <laughs> Samantalang yung mga kaklase ko ng high school may work na sila. Ako wala pa. <laughs> Nag-start over pa lang. But um, I was blessed kasi nag, um, nag-trabaho ako right after, right after makagraduate. Um, nakahanap ako ng work sa mall, mga dental, dental clinic sa mall. Thank you nga pala kay Dr. Nino for giving me a job there. And then, naging sa hospitals, sa San Pedro, um, San Pedro doctors, um, and then I put up my own clinic afterwards. Na nakaipo ng konte, then um, na na nag um, nagkaroon ako ng clinic sa bahay sa tabi ng bahay ng mami ko. And um, I joined two other dentists, Doctor Jenny Romero and Doctor um, uh, Doctor Jenny, and then. It's a it's a medical medical and dental parang industrial clinic siya sa may Santa Rosa malapit oh. na, sa Enchanted Kingdom nag ano nag urge kami then I'm I'm also doing dentistry there until um, I use the power of technology 
na nag-put up ako ng website. Tapos nakikita ako ng mga ano, ng mga um, nagahanap ng dental tourism sa Pilipinas. I was doing Invisalign, I was doing um, orthodontics. Napunta lang ako sa orthodontics kasi nanalo ko ng half, half price sa tuition sa oh, Islamic Dr. Makara, wait ha. For, for the consumption of our viewers, syempre, mga dental medical terms siya. When you say orthodontics, ayaw ba yung mga nagre-repair ng mga, sige, could you give us in simplest layman terms, ano okay. yung orthodontics? Orthodontics, braces po. Yan! Yeah. Go, go to a training again to do braces. Mm-hmm. Tapos, nakuha ko lang yung, bra- yung um, course na yun because nag nanalo ako na maging half price siya. Okay. Yes. So naging naging reward mo 'yon, 'di ba? All right. Ah, uh, I'm sorry, let me cut you on that kasi napaka-exciting, no? So, ibig sabihin, dumaan ka talaga sa buhay ng pagiging estudyante at baka magulit 'yung mga nanonood, then it's six years of po kasi nabanggit ni Doktora kanina, may two years of free dentistry course. Yan yung mga tinuruan ko rin noon sa CEU days. Pero hindi kita naging sudyante, di ba? Ibang section yeah. yung mga friends mo lang. And then, if you have a pre-dentacy, kung kaya mong ituloy o hindi, you can pass it. You'll go to dentistry proper for another four years. And then you'll take the board yes. exams. So ngayon, uh, yes. nag-put up ka na sa clinic mo temporarily. Siguro, konti pa lang ang gamit mo noon. Literal na isang chair. Sa lang naman ang chair na kailangan with some of your subs. You partnered with other dentists to help you do the business, profession, practice of profession, business. And then ito na, nag-specialize ka. Tapos sa i-connect mo, bakit dental tourism? At pakilid, paano ka napunta dyan abroad, di ba? So dental tourism, you enrolled in that specialization. What led further to those build-up of events? I see. Um, well, I met my husband. I met my husband um, in 20... 2008. Okay. And, um, like a few months after that, I I was already invited to the Isle of Man. Yon. And then I find I find the place. Yes. Kaya sa husband ko. Kaya ako naputol. Nakaya ka naputol dyan. Namit mo siya while practicing your profession. Yung dental tourism na sinasabi mo. Okay. Ano kinalaman? Was he a patient? Was he looking for dentists like you? Paano? Paano ang tadhana? Yes, we, um, I just met him, um, I just met him as a patient, pasyente. Pero dito, no? hindi pwedeng, you can't date your patient. It's an ethical. <laughs> <laughs> It's an ethical, yeah. Yeah, pero sa ano, sa, sa Pilipinas, okay lang. <laughs> Oh, basta yeah. after work, basta after work. After work naman po. Okay, after work. Okay. Yes. Hindi naman siya ano, on the job. <laughs> Yun. So, ibig yes. sabihin, you were fortunate and let's say talaga is part of God's destiny na mag-meet kayo. He was single then, you were single and young and a beautiful young doctor. 2008 ka pala, no? Kasi... Kami po, of course, obvious naman why he calls me kuya because I'm like a mentor to him, uh, a big brother as well. We've had many moments together together, we are together with other KKVs or youth na mga nakasama po namin, tingray namin for school outreach ministries. At kung saan-saan ko sinasabak niya si Kat sa mga Bible studies, sa mga outreach programs. Minsan po, pinagtuturo ko siya, hindi siya prepared, pinag-open in prayer ko, di ba? Kasama ng training ko yon. And somehow, we got disconnected for how many years? Hanggang sa Facebook lang, kamusahan na lang. And actually, may utang po ako dito eh. Because I'm supposed to host their wedding in Boracay. Unfortunately, I've had previous kids then. Kaya, unti-unti ako nagbabawi ngayon. Because I really love this woman. She's like a little sister to me. And I'm so proud of her. So, ngayon, bakit nung in-invite ka, magpunta ng I Love Man, sumama ka naman agad, kalad ka rin ka ba? <laughs> oh, oh. Bakit in-invite ka niya just to visit? So, you're in to get, your two are together already as as uh, boyfriend and girlfriend. So, in-invite ka niya doon to work, just to visit? Just to visit po. Just to, um, just to um, meet the parents po. Agad? 
Wow! Grabe, na-capture mo ang heart niya agad, ah, di ba? The parents agad. Akala ko magiging, um, akala ko magiging, you know, mata pobre or something like that. But I think I have the best in-laws in the world. Yeah. Oh. So, buti, buti si mama mo pumayag agad noon. Saka, teka, ito para, para part ng journey at inspiration ng mga viewers natin. Umalis ka, so meaning you had to leave your clinic here and your yes. business partners. Almost drop everything, dropping everything, leaving things behind. So, anong ginawa mo sa maliit mong clinic with your partners? What you made you finally decide? And of course, anong sabi ni Mader mo na paalit ka? <laughs> Oo, eh, eh, ikaw ang sa aming bisaya, pinaka-pinangga. Ikaw ang pinaka-ano. Para panganay ka, pero bunso ang trato at ate ka. Pero love na love ka ng mami mo. Alam ko yan, parang pupunta ako sa inyo nun. So, how did that go? Paano... Ano mo siya napapayag and what led you to decide? I see. Um, uh, na-meet na po niya yung mom ko before, tapos pinagpaalam po niya ako. And then my mom, my mom was like, yeah, you're old enough, you're 27, 27. Pinagpaalam na ako, mag-boyfriend ka na. <laughs> so pinamigay ka na pala, oh. <laughs> so, <laughs> yung pinakawalan ka na. Okay. Yes. Oh, sige, wait ha. Let me, atras ulit ako ng konti. Uh, I know, Kat, you're, you're the eldest. Pareho tayo na naging breadwinner ka. So, are you saying before you left, na-establish mo na somehow, hindi pa totally, yung years sa pagpapractice mo, nagputap ka sa real mong clinic, ideally for any dentist you graduate at license. So, paano yung mga kapatid mo? Paano yung mom mo? You left them. So, how did it go? Paano ka... What made you finally decide? Bukod sa may blessing ni mother, eh, paano yung business at profession mo? Sa ano po, sa business, the best way to scale a business is to collab- collaborate. All right. So if you have another dentist working for the clinic, it will it will float. It will continue. Continue, yes. So yeah. are you saying nagtuloy-tuloy yung clinic mo without you? I mean... Yeah. Yes. Tuloy, okay. Until now ba? Andiyan pa rin? O wala na? Wala na po. Oh. <laughs> oh. Na. It continued for how many years pa? Doon, nung mga time na yun, hindi na tayo masyado connected. Ano, I left, the, I left the, the clinic sa Santa Rosa. At saka sina... Dati nakikiklinik ako kay, ala, kay Dr. Kat Agnes. Mm-hmm. So she's in Vito Cruz. Until now? And Dr. Keith Beduya. I think she's she she went somewhere else. Nag ano nag ano siya ng clinic sa ibang place. So yung mga dental tourism patients since yung Vito Cruz malapit sa airport, dun ka dun namin pinapabunta yung patient. Okay, so you're saying now sa ating mga business people naman na uh, viewers natin, eh, number one, you you made a strong point about collaboration. Yes. Unless you learn to collab, your business is not going to expand, diba? And let's listen, ha, uh, from a perspective of similarly and unusual, not typical entrepreneur, pero ang business nila, yung profession nila. And by the way, we will qualify also. May iba kasi, they practice their profession, pero hindi nila totally in-expand as a business. In your case, you put up your own clinic, seemingly profession, pero business na rin. Kaya lang, nag-growth mindset ka that you wanted to expand. Yes. And so, and so, sinabi mo from collaboration, and then, eto na, you you utilize technology, tapos, bukang dinala ka ng tadhana, papunta ng abroad. Okay. Oh, so, ngayon, pagdating mo dyan sa abroad, nakita mo that you're gonna settle with your then ex-boyfriend, now your husband. Uh, talaga bang nag-decide ka nun, nun after studying, immersing yourself further, and checking on the environment, ah, dito na ako. Since I'm gonna have make my home here with my husband and with the future kids, magtatayo na ako ng clinic ko. Ganun ba agad ang nasa isip mo? Um, hindi po. Parang two years po ako pabalik-balik sa Pilipinas. Kasi oh, okay. Na nag-iwan na ano, braces. Mm-hmm. Kaya hindi ako nakabalik agad. Naka, um, na, nag-iisip na mag-stay dito sa Isle of Man. Sorry, ah, kaya ka bumabalik. Anong naiwan mga braces? Na, nawala ka? Marami mga pasyente. Marami oh. Na naiwan. Kailangan ko yung... tapusin. Oo, oh, oh, I see. 
yung tech, grabe, no? Nakita niyo yung comment na sa profession na yung tending mo na mga personalized patients mo, gusto nila, ikaw nagkabit ng brace, ikaw din na magtapos. So, kailangan tapusin mo yung period that they're gonna finally natapos yung program ng pagbibrace nila. Tama? Yes. Yes po. Okay. Wow. Commitment yun, ha? And it must have cost you a lot because... I love man is not Hong Kong, no? Allah you yan. The airport expenses. So every, you- six I come home. every six months, I come home for two years until I finish all the cases. Merong, merong mga yeah. technology sa dental, dental well, braces na it's called self-ligating. Okay. That's what I put on the patients. Kaya hindi mo kailangan masyadong i-adjust every month. Mm, supply gating. Wow. Pasensya na po, hindi ako makakulit, hindi ako nag-brace eh. <laughs> Pero yung, yung wife ko po, nung berto ko siya, nag-brace yan. Okay. Nako ha, we are finding this more exciting. So, nung time mo, umuusbong ng technology, nakatulong somehow to finish your, they call it cases, and yung professionalism mo, pinakita mo pa rin, you've kept a very good number of clients Kaya naman, lumanga sila sa'yo. And for sure, the business side, kumita ka doon. Nagamit mo sa family, personal needs, nakabalik ka. So, sa pagbabalik po natin, please uh, stay there, ha, doktora. Sa pagbabalik po natin ngayon, gusto na natin alamin, paano niya pinult up yung business niya na ideally, typical clinic na lang ulit, dental clinic, pero naging spa at wellness center pa. At isa, if not pinakasikat po sa I Love Man and Take Note, a Filipina CEO, is heading it. So, do not, do not change channel. Magbabalik po tayo, ha, mga ka-awesome. Stay tuned. And we'll all be back here on Awesome Day with the new channel. Stay tuned. We're back on the awesome day. Alam niyo po, napakamot ako na parang may dumaang, honey. At ah, umanin po, palakad-lakad yung baby ko kasi bakasyon na nila. At syempre, attracted sa aming magandang Christmas tree na nagbibigay po ng dagdag-liwanag sa akin dahil sira ang <laughs> ring light. Nasira po, pero okay lang. The show must go on. Eh, ka nga. So, direct, pakibalik po ang ating napakaganda, napaka-accomplice sa Dr. Cathy. Or cat, as I call her, grabe po, nening-nene siya noon. Kumakain po kami together with other CEU disciples of KKP sa McDonald's, kung saan-saan sa recto, bago kami mag-Bible study, mag-prayer meeting, at magkamusahan lang bilang mga magkakapatid sa Panginoon, bilang kuya nila, 
at alam niyo po talagang literal na parang kuya ko niyan dahil mga nanay-nanay po nila sa akin sila hinahana. Okay, so imagine oo, naalala ko na dapat Paul Say kayo, pero ako nagsabi na ako alam mo Paul Say, humila ka sa president, walang pila. And CEU was known to be, if not one of the best, uh, of course, pride natin yan, medyo bias mo kami, ha? the best dental school uh, in in the in the field of dentistry no okay so balik tayo ka 2008 two years ang pabalik balik ka so mga 2010 kailan mo sinimulan itong clinic or automatic ba na envision mo na magiging spa and wellness siya or nagsimula siya ulit nagsimula ka ulit as a dental clinic pakikwento sa amin i see uh, pag punta ko po ng ano ng Isle of Man um so So, iniwan ko lahat ng ng mga pasyente <laughs> ng mga kids ng pag- yung family ng Pilipinas. So, ay uh, parang if you're going to war, you have to burn your ships so you can't go like go big or go home. Mm-hmm. So, what I did uh, ay kung pagtrabahuhin sa asawa ko sa tapos minsan nag-apply ako as lollipop lady. <laughs> Kung inyo po, oh, ano lollipop lady. Mga lollipop lady is yung nakasuot ka ng yellow, tapos i- maglalakad ka sa tapat ng ng kalsada, tapos okay. papadaanin mo yung mga bata sa school. Kasi usually, oh. ano, dalawang, dalawang segment, nag-apply ako as post-woman. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Para, para magka-work, inisip ang pakiramdam ko pag natahinga ako sa bahay ay unproductive ako. Pero that time, mm-hmm. um, that time, ang sabi sa akin is kailangan kasi mag-exam before, before makakuha ng um, lisensya para makapag-practice sa UK. Mm-hmm. So kailangan mag-aral. So ayun mga bata para mag-aral. So, I studied 17 hours a day. Walang palya, wow. 17 hours. Na. Um, napakahirap po kasi, ano, for yung yung isang minuto mo is very important dahil yung exam is parang race against time. Ang kalaban mm-hmm. mo hindi na, ano, kung mm-hmm. yung alam mo sa dentistry, um, ang kalaban mo ano sila mag-practice dito. Sobrang bilis nila. Okay. Five minute consultation, ganun, ganun talaga sila mag-practice. So, um, I have to unlearn and relearn yung, yung style ng dentistry dito. Um, nagtrabaho po ako as dental nurse Amy. Nag- mm-hmm. namamas- namasukan ako sa mga clinics para mag- at mag-suction linis ng cospidor, oh. yung dinodraan. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Maglinis ng insulin. So, I started from the bottom. Um, sabi ko, ano, um, everything that I'm going through, um, kumbaga, dentista ako sa Pilipinas, ang tawag sa akin, Doc, pagdating dito, wala lang. <laughs> para akong, um, para akong, uh, mas, Parang janitress yung style. Oh, Pero that's... Oh. Hindi, dahil, hindi sa minamaliit natin, no? yung pagiging janitress. Yes, yes. Pero what you're saying is, you you literally went back to almost zero. Kasi I was yes. about to ask you that, dahil dilemma yan, no? yung mga doktor sa Pilipinas, totoo pala, pagdating mo abroad with their different standards, hindi ka automatic na doktor doon. You have to restudy, retrain, They have to regain their own certification and licenses. So you had to go through that process. And good thing, sinuportahan ka pa rin ng iyong husband. At that time ba, you're married yes. na, pamilya na kayo? Oo. Opo, opo. That time, um, we we have the like a young family, young growing family. Tapos dito po walang nani, walang yaya. May, mayaman lang ang nakakapagyaya. <laughs> <laughs> Tapos ang work nila, 9 to 5. So, oh, diba? hindi ka talaga mag-anap ng, ano, ng yaya. Tapos, um, ikaw maglinis, maglaba, magluluto. Ganun ang oh. buhay. Um, hindi mo pwedeng, hindi ka pwedeng mag-work 
ayaw nila na mag-work ka habang uh, two years old pa yung bata, yung anak mo. Mm, nakapupo ka, nakapokus ka. So you're saying, oh, you're saying, doktora, sorry, ah, medyo may lag po, no? kaya minsan parang nakakat ko siya. Doktora, you're saying, you're saying, talagang dumaan ka sa hirap, work, tapos trying to balance family life. And your husband is also into reality. Ngayon, fast forward. Ilang years kang namasukan at now finally you've established your own clinic. How long was that waiting, training, and relearning period? So, relearning is around five years. Wow. Habang, habang nag, lumalaki yung mga bata, that time ako nag-aaral, nag-e-exam. Kasi maraming series ng exams. Mm-hmm. But so, there are mga dalawang beses akong bumagsag. Oh. Sa part one, buti na lang nung part two, yung practical, ano, isang one take lang, nakapasa ako kagad. Pero I think, yun yung training sa Pilipinas, mga dental school sa Pilipinas, they're very good at practical. Um, they're very good with their hands. Yun yung training. So you're saying, yan naman yung may pagmamalaki natin, yung persistence, resiliency ng Pinoy, Plus, hindi naman totally lahat ng pinag-aralan mo dito naging ways. Actually, foundational nga yun eh, di ba? Okay, yeah. ngayon, fast forward, we don't have much time. Doktora, kailan mo tinayo ang, ang Infinity Dental Spa at bakit siya naging wellness center na yun, beauty center? I see. Uh, so, ayaw akong pagtrabahuhin ng asawa ko, pati oh. ng family nila, because they think... Um, they can they can put in the money they don't really need to i don't really need to work kasi meron naman silang money to support me mm-hmm. pero ako ang nagpumilit na mag-work ayo ko bigyan ng pera so ang ginawa ko merong micro business grant yung gobyerno okay na bibigay sa gustong mag business so yun yung um naging stepping stone ko para mag put up ng Ang first na ano ko na ginawa ko is um, Infinite Ring. Yun yung IV infusion or multivitamins na infusion through IV. Um, yun yung yung pinut up before ng dental clinic. So yung dental clinic last year lang, last year ko lang naput up kasi sobrang mahal lang ano gamit. Oo, oh, oh, oh. So na wow. yung wellness before yung dental. Ay, yung so, balik na ito pala, may assumption mo, yung dental clinic first, tapos dinagdagan mo ng wellness. And the last time, uh, two or three weeks ago, we had a quick chat and sharing. You toured me around virtually to your camp. Grabe, napakaganda po nung kanya. And I would say, I may mention, at par sa mga belo, kalayan dito. Grabe po. Uh, she's got a wonderful clinic there. So basically, ang ginagawa ng clinic mo ngayon, may dental side ka, may aesthetics, beauty, wellness. So yeah. meaning, nag-outsource ka rin, nag-partner ka rin sa ilang pang mga practitioners or professionals? Opo, yun talaga yung ano, yun yung way. Kasi kung ikaw lang, mag-burn out ka. Like me, I'm already fully booked until spring 2020. Wow. So hindi ko kaya kung ako lang we are working from Mondays to Saturday until 8 p.m. at night. Okay. Um, so it's it's not feasible. You can't um ito lang yung ano mindset na that I I don't have a lot of patients may merong mga week na talagang zero. Oo. Uh-huh. Ang mindset pinago ko lang yung mindset na um there's abundance and daming pasyente sa buong mundo. Um uh-huh. Yung, yung ngipin, 32 teeth pag, bat, pag matanda, 10, uh, 20 teeth pag bata. So, you have 52 teeth to work on Galing. for each person. So, hindi kailangan na mag-away ang mga dentist or mga... Um, <laughs> hindi talaga kailangan mag-away just because... Ang laki ng market. Ang laki ng market. Is that what you're saying? Yes. Hindi ka mauubusan ng pasyente. So it's uh, it's the mindset that that needs to be changed na kung gusto mo ng work, merong work. So are you saying na talagang ano, no, everything starts with the mindset and not just mindset, but growth and abundance mindset or abundance mentality. 
Kaya yun yung concept ng business meeting, a need, addressing a pain point. Ang galing mo sinabi mo, kung 32 ang meeting, so sa isang tao pa lang, ang dami mo na pwedeng i-operate sa kanya. Eh, iba-ibang kategorya pa, social strata. Iba din, syempre, yung social, uh, yung yung niche, o yung talagang mga paying. Kaya, kaya you put up the kind of center. How does it feel ngayon, doktora? For sure, you have the employees, mga foreigners there. Anong feeling mo? Na ngayon, wow, ang boss sila, Pilipina. How many staffs do you have? Um, Tapos, have about ten. Ten. Have ten. Ten, yes. Okay. Yeah, there are... Uh, uh, merong mga Pinay, merong Romanian, Hungarian, Malaysian, um, monks, and English. Okay. Yeah. Iba, oh, iba. Eh, you mentioned may Pinay, ha? so nagpaputa ka ng Pinay dyan, mga dentist din. Ano po, may nurse, at saka yung isa accountant yata siya. Okay, <laughs> but, pero yeah. dyan nag-work na, wow. Nako, so yung mga typical na kwento, pero what's even more inspiring is that Ikaw na ang boss ngayon, nangamuhang ka minsan dyan, and now you're taking good care of them. So we're gonna pause for our final gap. Doctora, hang on there. We still have some few more minutes to chit-chat and to inspire ang mga ka-awesome nandito. Please stay tuned. Magbabalik po ang awesome day still with Doctora Kat Bingalj. the awesome day. Aba, nakakagulat, di ba? Alam, konti na lang po oras natin. Pero, direct, pakibalik na agad si Dr. Akat. Bihira ang mga pagkakataong ito, no? And I'm really inspired. Honestly po, ngayon ko lang talaga totally narinig. Yung iba pang detalye ang kwento na yan. Ha? We've, we've somehow got disconnected, got this year with our lives, and I'm so proud of her. Okay, Dr. Akat, how do you see your business long term? Or, nanggaling ka sa Pilipinas, nag-establish ka na dyan. Now, you have a very good husband, you have wonderful kids, and you have another one on the way. Na kwento mo sa akin, praise God for that. Do you have uh, Do you have any plans of investing back in the Philippines? Opo, yun talaga yun, ano, yung pangarap ko na magkaroon ng, um, I think, dental hospital. Wow! Yes, um, so I can't be physically there because I'm trying... I'm trying to get established here, but um, we can try to uh, can try to build something there for my um, mga classmate ko sa dentistry before na magbabalik pa yan. Uh, yun yung iisip ko talaga na, mag, na mag-put up ng clinic for them na uh, wellness and um, dental clinic as well. So, uh, hindi naman exactly if a franchise yung infinity, pero almost of a similar concept. Pero ito, mas yes. Philippine savvy, mas Philippine uh, market ang um, plano mo, di ba? And ang galing, no? Kanina mo pa sinasabi, may hinahit kang Pilipina, may, uh, may mga classmates ka ngayon na, na gusto mo mag-put up kayo na venture together. You're coming back here, 
you're giving back and you want to invest. Doc Kat, uh, you have such a wonderful heart. You you still think of your country back here. Tapos, considering na established ka na dyan. Pero it doesn't mean mag stay ka dito. Pero mahal mo talaga ang Pilipinas. Now that you're an accomplished businesswoman, you wanted to invest here. So ngayon, sa mga pinagdaanan mo for your last and final message, bagamat namanggit mo na kanina, mindset, abundance mentality, anong advice mo sa mga OFWs, sa mga gusto magdigosyo? Eh, kasi sinasabi siguro iba, eh, ikaw, doktora, hindi naman kayo na-apektuhan ng COVID, kami bagsak dito. For sure, you have your friends, apektuhan din ng mga clinics, hindi naman pwedeng virtual lang ang pag-ooperate ng ngipin. Anong mensahe mo eh? Nasa hul. Paano makakabangon? Paano magiging prosperous at successful? So Kat, Doktora, please say it away. I see. You really need to adapt. Um, adaptability, it's it's not how strong you are right now. If you can imagine Nokia before BlackBerry, uh, because they didn't adapt, they have a be the best uh, technology, but they didn't adapt to the current changes in time. So they they they're they gone bankrupt. If you if you adapt to the current uh, time, kung anong anong hinahanap ng ng mga tao, and if you adapt to that, you'll be you'll be there long term. Adaptability, alam nyo, napahawa ko ko sa phone ko kasi may may nag may nag chat sa akin. Uh, may gusto pang itanong sa yon, no? Pero I think you know yung sagot, eh, doctora. You have to adapt, and you made mention about Nokia, BlackBerry, kung tutusi, sila mga pioneers sa mobile technology, di ba? So even yeah. if you have the funds, even if you you were sikat then and number one, pero pag hindi ka nag-adapt, may iwana ka na competition. And you saying that is really something special kasi hindi mo naman maririnig yan sa isang typical na dentist, di ba? Pero coming from you, you're now an, uh, uh, an accomplished businesswoman, and a strong family woman balancing family life and of course attending to the needs of your patients, clients, and that of your employees. So with that, we are so thankful. Thank you, Doctora, for your invitation. Alam mo, biglaan mang itong invitation ko sa'yo and thank you, pinaulakan mo. At sa o nga, no, kasi ang sarap mag-teacher yung mga networks ko, kaibigan ko, churchmates ko na nasa abroad na sila yung mga nakaline up ko ngayon. I'm happy to to share na ikaw yung inuna ko. That's how special you are, Doctora, and you are, you are bringing more joy and inspiration. So God bless you more. We look forward to your investment back here. We can help you with that. Let's set it up. Let's, let's bring more world-class dental uh, quality care for Filipinas, if I had it by you. So again, thank you and God bless you more. Regards to your husband. Thank and you. Your husband. Yeah. Stay there, uh, stay there. Okay. So allow me to close in the remaining minutes. Direct, pakipasok yung verse ko. Alam nyo, ang galing talaga ni Lord. I was praying kanina, no? Ito yung nakuha kong verse. At sakto, perfect na perfect sa guest natin ngayon. Kanina, bago ako magsimula sa aking training sa PhilHealth Online, sabi ko, Lord, what's your message for me today? And in connection with what you accomplished, want me to accomplish today. In Job chapter 42, verse 10, ang sabi po dito, after Job had prayed for his friends, the Lord restored his fortunes and gave him twice as much as he had before. Bakit po, after Job had paid for his friends, kasi ang kwento, ito yung last chapter, matapos siyang uh, ibuli, matapos siyang almost i-curse, and to the point na tinuturuan siyang i-curse pati si God at sabihin, Hoy, ikaw ha, makasalanan ka, kaya ka nagkaganyan, halos na ka, parang, parang hindi po exactly yung leprosy, no? parang ketong po ang tumama sa kanya. Na dumating ang pandemya sa katawan niya, nagkasakit siya, as in bankrupt po, losses, para mga pinagdadaanan natin maraming Pilipino ngayon, sira ang kabuhayan, he was an influential leader, a businessman, and yet, pagkatapos mo ng lahat ng iyon, the Lord restored him. Pero ito ang process. Alam niyo, sobrang powerful na message sa akin ito. First, you need to pray for your friends. Pag pinanalangin mo mga kaibigan mo, and then aside sa praying as a form of spiritual support, which is of, of, uh, 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 of most important, second, tumulong ka ba, nakatulong ka ba sa mga kaibigan mo ngayong panahon ng pandemya in whichever way you can or you could have done. Uh, tinulungan mo ba sila morally, spiritually, kinamusta mo, or even 
kung pelo business file ka, nag-abot ka ba ng pandagdagman lang sa kanya? I mean, I'm seeing all of these things kasi itong panahon ng pandemya, tulungan ito eh. And yet, we are here listening to a world-class and accomplished businesswoman na tinuturuan niya rin tayo na, na kailangan magkaroon tayo na abundance mindset. Pagkatapos daw po, okay, medyo na-tweak ko po doon, pero balik ako. Pagkatapos siya ipag-pray yung friends siya, ni-restore ni Lord. So pwede to complete the process of his trial or his test is after checking on the people that matter to you, now the Lord is able and ready to restore you. Binalik daw po, sabi abundance, perfect sa sinabi ni Doc Cathy. At sinabi po twice, alibawa, uh, I don't have the exact figures kung sampung libong tupa ang nawala kay Job, dinoble pa ang balik ni Lord. Ito, literal, ha? medyo mabigat ito. He lost his uh, children, namatay lahat, nanganak ulit at nagkaanak siya ulit because he lived for about 140 years. Wow! Anong ultimate message po? God is the restorer of things. He can restore you and me. And look, sa nangyari sa life ni Doc Cathy, di ba? Nagsimula siya, she, 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 she was humbled down. Tapos, hindi naman di po perfect ang family background niya. I know that uh, as a sister in the Lord at bilang kaibigan, kapatid sa Panginoon, parang little sister ko na po. And look at her now. Di ba? So, sa mga may pinagdadaan ng pagsubok, hindi patapos. Tumataan lang tayo dito. Never give up. Don't be in despair. At sa mga nagsisimula ulit, isipin mo, ang laki ng market, ang daming opportunities, lawakan mo. Abundance mindset mentality. And then, start doing what you love doing. And the little things, the little, the detailed things, actually are the ones that's gonna make an impact to you. So, with that, Like Job, I pray for the same for all of us that God will restore us and twice as much as we've lost, God can return it, can resurrect it, can restore it, and even if not, replace it for you and me. And that's it for today. This is the awesome day. Four days to go before Christmas next week. Ang bati ko na po sa inyo pa New Year na. Remember that Christ is the reason for the season. For God so loved the world that He gave because He gave That's the true expression, ultimate expression of love. We cannot give without loving, but we uh, we cannot give without loving, but we cannot love without giving. God gave His Son. We cannot reach Him. That's why He had to reach us and be in the form of man. Si Cristo ang kulay na sento ng Pasko, hindi Santa Claus, hindi Christmas tree. Yung baby ko doon, masaya-masaya, maraming naroon siyang gifts. Si Cristo ang sento ng Pasko. Tanong ko sa'yo, kaosa, pinanganak na pa siya sa puso mo? Pinanganak ka na bang muli? Dahil sabi niya, doon sa John 3.16 na una yung John 3.3. Except a man be born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. Hindi religion, hindi sect po ang sinasabi ko. A personal and closer relationship with Christ. Because the Savior has been born. And that is why we have Christmas. So, with that, maraming maraming salamat mga ka-awesome, mga ka-viewers. Thank you very much again, Doc Cathy. Until next week, Advance Happy New Year na po in 2021. It's gonna be different. Prepare. Because the Lord is about to do something great for you and me. God bless. Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. Stay safe, everyone. At walang mahawa ng COVID. Bye-bye. Live life to the fullest.